Hello and welcome back to Gex. We're doing our first bonus level. Um, all of these bonus levels, uh, if I'm not mistaken, are the same. You just have to collect a certain amount of MacGuffins in a certain amount of time. So these bonus levels are going to be super short, hopefully, because if they're not short, it means I messed up. Um, this one's just Indiana Jones themes. I do love the theming. I do love the variety in the theming. It's really cool. The only thing is that the main levels tend to get a little repetitive, so I kind of wish that they used these bonus level themes um, more. Very morbid imagery. I don't quite remember the Indiana Jones movies because, uh, to be quite honest, not the biggest fan. I don't like action movies. A lot of the plots uh, revolved around um, some very religious-inspired themes, and that, to me, is not super interesting. Like, um, I hope this is not offending the fandom. It's just not my kind of movie. You know, some movies are for... Um, <coughs> Some movies you know they're for you, and some movies you know that they're not, and for me the case is that uh, that movie is not for me. I've heard some terrible things about the, uh... I've heard some terrible things about the fourth sequel. I've watched the other three. Um, because, you know, there is merit to just, uh... exploring the, um... Exploring the classics, and I really wanted to just see what the hubbub was about, and there were some genuinely cool moments, like the... Spoiler alert! Like the part at the end of the move, the first movie where the guy started melting, I really liked that, and the iconic uh, scene where, uh... They're hiding the thing. You know what I mean if you've watched the movie. I don't want to elaborate on it, because I really don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't watched. Anyway, uh, back to this. Um, it's not very interesting, as you can see. Just a lot of going back and forth. And then once you collect all of the things, you get a life, and you have to still go and get the remote. Which, I hate this. I hate this so much because it has caused me... See how the timer's going down during the cutscene? That's messed up. That is so messed up. I am... If there were fall damage in this level, I would have absolutely taken it right there. Okay, come on, remote! And there you go! So yeah, these levels are really short. They have some pretty um, cute imagery. I like them. They change it up a bit. They can get a little repetitive. And I hate how you have to get the controller afterwards because you have no idea where it's going to spawn usually. So yeah, that was the first bonus level, Aztec 2-step. I will see you guys in the next one. Hello and welcome back to Gex, uh, Enter the Gecko. Um, now that I think of it, we unlocked this, if I'm not mistaken. This is the boss battle. I thought that was Gex talking. I was like, what happened to his voice? I might just merge this with the bonus level because they're so short. This one's really not interesting. I think it's based around, um, some type of, um... Something's telling me, like, Gilligan's Isle, but I don't really know what that show is. I am admittedly uncultured swine. I apologize for that. The, the boss battles, uh, for the most part in this game, are not really much to write home about. This one is easily the worst, because it's really just uh, go here, hit that, uh, repeat three times. And it's just the tad bit, the slightest bit wonky, because the last one moves around. Eh. And also, I guess it depends on... Ah! Over before I really had anything interesting to say. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to tack this one on to the end of the other level. We hit some tikis, offended some natives conquered the island, I guess, perpetuated the trope, and we are not proud about it, but I guess it makes sense in the TV dimension. And yay, the gate is open. All we had to do was take the land from the natives. Don't follow Gex's example. I will see you guys in the next one.